we're here in Philadelphia today for the Disruptor 50 Roadshow, where we try to identify the startups with the potential to revolutionize their respective industries. It's a theme worth focusing on, especially on a day when the market tanks a very painful 600 plus points, because we always need to be looking out for the companies that are making big waves for tomorrow. Earlier, I got a chance to chat with Michael Rubin, the Philadelphia billionaire investor and serial entrepreneur who also owns a stake in the 76ers and the New Jersey Devils. In 2011, Rubin sold his e-commerce company, GSI, to eBay for $2.4 billion. But eBay only wanted GSI's fulfillment business, so they sold the consumer-facing brands back to Rubin. And this includes Fanatics for licensed sports merchandise, Rula La for flash sales, and ShopRunner, which is a retail benefits program. Rubin's now the founder and CEO of Kinetic, which owns ShopRunner, Rula La, and, of course, Fanatics. I think he is a fantastic resource for the aspiring entrepreneurs gathered here in Philly for this Disruptor 50 shindig. Take a look. Michael, I've got a million things I'm going to talk to you about because I'm so proud of you. I'm in Philadelphia and I look up to you. You are great. But you just got back from China. A lot of the weakness in the stock market right now is a belief that there is going to be an endless economic war with the Chinese and us. But you have a different message. Well, look, what I see as an entrepreneur is how much opportunity there is in China. When I went there, I got to tell you something, it's one of those things you had to see to believe it. We had 45 million people watch our preseason basketball game. Think about that. 45 million people watch a preseason basketball game. That's like half of a Super Bowl rating. That's how rabid the basketball fans are in China. So for me, I think we have nothing but growth opportunity in China. We're just launching Fanatics there. It's a massive opportunity. Um, we think we could build a multi-billion dollar business there, so I couldn't be more bullish on the opportunity. All right, let's talk about Fanatics, because this is an amazing company, one of several that you control, one of several that is just doing incredibly well. I would love to hear about sports, because you're involved, you own teams, Fanatics, Nike, and you know what? You're a free-range guy. You got the ball, you got the rock. So what do you want to talk about? What, what part let's of it? Let's, let's start, go. Let's do it. Let's start with Fanatics okay. and how they're doing. So F Fanatics is a really exciting business. For me, I'll give you a, I'll break this down really simply for you. I had a core belief that Amazon and Alibaba were going to control e-commerce everywhere in the world. And so if you have that belief, you've either got two options, completely differentiate yourself right. or go out of business. And I'm not a guy who wants to go out of business, <laughs> no. so you got to completely differentiate yourself. I kind of, people say all the time, how do you feel about Amazon? I'm like, I owe all of our success to Amazon because we were such a big believer in what they were doing that we built this, again, completely differentiated business model. So what we're doing is really all about vertical commerce. We design, develop, and sell directly to the consumer most of the products that we have. So it's a completely different business. Think about like an H&M or a Zara, right, right. but in the sports license business, but mostly online. Okay, so and if, that, if and the Eagles win big, the Super Bowl, yeah. if, if I get Super a jersey, yeah. is that yours? It's ours. It's we're, yours. Yeah, we're designing the jersey. We're, we're, we're actually, in the case of the jersey, Nike designs the jersey. Going forward, we're actually going to manufacture the jersey and sell it directly to the consumer. But I'll tell you, just over the Super Bowl specifically, we sold two and a half million units of Eagles merchandise. That's got to make you very happy. Two and a half million units of Eagles merchandise within a few weeks after the Super Bowl. And we design those products, we manufacture those products, we ship them directly to consumer. And because of the verticality, the consumer gets a wider assortment of merchandise. They get anything they want, they get it more quickly, and the leagues and teams make more money while using that data to better communicate with the fans. So it's a win-win for everybody. Now, one of the things that you mentioned, speaking of win-win, uh, there are two people, two teams I don't want to go against. Amazon, you saw that with your moat. The other one is Nike. I'm always afraid. You partnered with Nike. I think you have a great deal starting 2020. Yeah, we, we do. And so if you really think about the sports license business and, the, and you think about the sports leagues, what a league wants and what a team wants is to have the best marketing brand in the world. And Nike's this incredible brand. But they don't wake up every day and go to bed every night thinking about how do I maximize every sale in the licensed sports business? So what the leagues did, and they were smart, they said, let's split this from one set of rights to two sets of rights. And let's work with Nike to be this incredible marketing partner and to really use it to drive the Nike brand and the NFL brand. At the same time, let's work with Fanatics to drive transactions. And now you've got two companies instead of one really growing the business as much as possible. Now, you uh, bought these back from this, and we'll also talk uh, about another one that you bought back from eBay eBay is now, I don't know if they're still an investor, but they are, that's about a $27 billion dollar company. If I were to buy shares in Kinetics, if it came public, I think it'd be worth more than eBay. Well, I hope one day, it certainly won't be today, but I hope one day it will be. And certainly we, we, have, we have really exciting companies. Look, for us, the truth be told, and people say this all the time, 
you know, was eBay smart for some of the businesses? First, eBay was very focused. They didn't want to be in the owned inventory business. Number two, these were teeny companies. When I bought Fanatics back from eBay, it was a $250 million company. It's going to do $2.3 billion this year. It has a completely different strategy. When we bought back Rue La from eBay, it was a $200 million business. Now we bought Gilt, now it's close to a billion dollar business. Shopper didn't have $100 million in transactions. It's gonna do next year three or $4 billion in transactions. So we've take these, we've took these businesses, we've developed the strategies, we've evolved them, and we've made them into what they are today. And here's the most exciting thing, we're just getting going. Well, one last thing. Uh, you have a stake in the Devils. You have a big stake in the Sixers. Uh, but you were thinking about buying the Panthers. The Panthers beat the Eagles this weekend. Had you bought the Panthers, who would you have rooted for? Well, that's easy. <laughs> to, to, to me, let me tell you something. Other than the Sixers, um, for me, my loyalty is all about my loyalty is all about who makes us the most money. So I'm very easy to swap teams. If I owned the Panthers, I would have been rooted to destroy the Eagles. I mean, I love Jeffrey. He's my buddy, but. This is business and sports are sports. You're, you're there for one reason, which is to win. I actually always laugh when people come up to me and say, hey, good luck, you know, before a game. I was like, I, would, I wish I could tell them good luck. I'm like, I hope you, for the next three hours, I hope you die. Oh. Like, 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 I have no issues wishing you go. Right. I love you before the game and I love you after the game. Well, There's no love during I the like game. I like the way you think. That's Michael Rubin, Fanatics Executive Chairman and co-owner of the 76ers. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.